Now we look into this example. Fayaga set up a business on 1 January 2017. Her cash payments for the year 30 December 2017 included, you see the dates here. Uh, March, June, September, December. And then uh, February, April. And also, on 6 March, Priyanka received a nixly bill for 168 for the quarter to 28 February 2018. Question now. Hmm. You all will try or uh, I will do it straight away. I should wait for one or two minutes or what? You all understood this question, that means you understood the concept. First, we need to very clearly understand what is our economic period. 31st December 2017. You know, then, just simply record the cash transactions without thinking of prepayment or approval whether to come, not to come, forget all this. Within the two timeline, starting year, end of the year, within these two periods, whatever the cash transaction that we have done, forget this. Forget all about this. Just record the entries within the, our timeline. Then we look into that. I have uh, two accounts, electricity and cash. 
electricity <coughs> and then I have it. Then one more thing. First, January 2017, 31st December 2017. Now what is the important point here is that regardless of the the whether this is related to this period or that period, if the transaction taking place within this block, we should have. So first transaction is 10 March 2017. Is it within our period or not? It is within our period. So how much is that? 96. Second transaction. Uh, 120. That is 12, 6, 2007. Correct? Yeah. 14, Third transaction. Uh, 104. 34, 14 September. Here we should write cash. I am not writing. You should write cash. How much? 104? 104. And the fourth transaction is uh, 104. That's when? 10th December. December. 100. Now, what do you think the significance of this information? That is this, which period it belongs to. The bill which we See, that 96 we are paying for how many months? For two, two months. months. What are the months? For well, January, January, February 2017. So we are paying that for the January and February 2017. So if I ask you a question, on 1 January 2017, do I have to pay any money? On one dollar. Again, repeat the question. See, now this uh, 96 yal or dollars, I, I am paying for a period covering for the last February and the last January. Yes. Correct? Mm -hmm. So the 31 days in January and then 28 days in February. But if you go back to the first of January 2017, do you have any payable related to electricity? No, no. After the end of the day. That's very clear? Mm -hmm. So here, broad forward zero. Understand? Now, coming back to 145. How in which period? 30 November. 30 November. Why do you choose this period uh, 1 January? Habibi, and uh, last in. Maru Madan Sumu? Gun. Ah, this too. I'm a Muga Mutali Fee. I'm Gibali and other two. So, who is that? Hala accounting fee here. That's my whole suit in the Hala. What is my accounting fee yet? Clear? That's why I took it. Okay, now, this 145, covering. Quarter to 30 seconds. So quarter means how many months? Three months. So which are the months? September, October, November. November, October and September. September. So it goes back. Otherwise, September, October, November. What are you? And these months are within our accounting period or beyond our accounting period? Within our So do we need to worry about it? We don't need to worry about it. Now can we read this? On 6 March 2018, that is our economic period or the new period? 
there is one uh, let's read it i am receiving a bill on this day yes, this money or quarter covering this day so if you think about this is the last date of the quarter how many months is covering three months which are the months december, december, december january january. and so 31st december 2017 do you think do we have any payable how much Now can we balance this now? So one 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 hundred uh, forty five or one one five. So now ten to uh, ten to the center. How? Yeah. Check this. How many months? Quarter to thirty. Quarter to thirty November. So the November are his shoulder. Come on, come soon. Party two. It is two hours two. Are you? September, October, November. Mm -hmm. Other part of the year, within our economy period or beyond our economy period. Again, okay. only September, October, November. In my economy period or outside? No, no, no. Oh, there's no problem. Just record that in class. But it will be one, one zero five. No, other, other. One forty-five. One forty. Ah, yes, you are correct. Mm -hmm. I'm sorry. Now can you balance this please? 5 to 1. 5 to 1. To 1. In. 5 to 1. So PL how much? 5 to 1. 5 to 1. What is the accrued expense of the balance sheet? 56. That way? And this is that one uh, the Andrews coming uh, the financial uh, in the profit and loss account. Under what? Under, Under expense. Expense. Hmm. Administration expense, one line item. Hmm. Uh, here electricity expense. Hmm. Now uh, we are preparing this uh, financial statement on first of uh, December 2018. 31st December. 31st December 2017. Hmm. So that time we don't know about this amount, 56. It is uh, said, we are receiving this amount from the Good question. See, uh, this is uh, what we call in fact, in, in, in reality, we will, we, if we are receiving the bill in February, mm -hmm. we, will, we are not going to receive, we are going to know how much is the December electricity bill. Mm -hmm. But then, as a prudent accountant, what you must do, you should look for the past history and style of your expenses and then calculate a month, make a provision here. Then later bill comes, you pass an entry to adjust for the $5 or $10 plus and minutes. Later, another chapter coming, and maybe after two to three chapter, provisions. There we will talk about that in more detail. Clear or not clear? We need to know an example of the See, now electricity, I am preparing a problem that will be something. But the bill is came on February next month, next year. So after two months. So on how will I know how much is the electricity expense for the month of this month? This is my, my thinking, correct? Then in all balance, you will just put on a... What you do is, you take years. on the total here, okay. calculate how many months here, divide by that, and then arrive an answer. So we will give this same scenario. So I put just 50 real here. Hmm. Okay. And then we close the total. Yes. So for that what will happen later, you will um, uh, close and then uh, when you go to month of February, also brother, there is another standard we will study later, post balance sheet events, subsequent events. So later, 
after one or two months, if when we learn in that things that is not, we put it in our account for the last period, is not correct, we are allowed to adjust. Prior adjustment. Hmm. Uh, not necessarily prior adjustment, that's another topic. Prior adjustment comes when you make errors. But it's not error actually, it's sort of a uh, genuine adjustment. But here we are transferring to PRF to the Correct. So this is how we get again correct for it. Yeah, you see, see this total is your expense, yeah. but you still not pay this 56 now. Yeah. So that's a liability for you. So that has been shown on the credit side of this, and in the balance sheet, this will be shown as an accrued expense under current liability. 521 is that, that particular year total expense? Total electricity expense. Clear? Mm -hmm. yeah. Okay, let's uh, move on to the range now. So we have one payment uh, took place on the 1st of February 2017. How much we pay? 375. And the next payment took place on uh, 6th April 2017. How much is that? 1584. Again, you got to be careful. This one they are saying 3 months to 31st March 2018. The entire amount is repaid. I paid the when? Yeah. The when? February. 1st February 2017. That belongs to next year. Next year and 3 months. 3 months? 31st March 2018. March 2017. So that 3 months is prepaid. I think there is something wrong. Let me. I read this one at home. That means there is a mistake in the book. Okay. Small mistake in the book. That is belongs to 2017. Yeah. This please change. This to 17. Okay. And uh, we need to send this to the people also. Okay. Okay. So, uh, this one, 375 paid on 1st February 2017, a period covering January, February, March 2017. Do we need to worry about anything? No, it's in We don't need to, it's within our period. Call us, Marvin. Rafa. Lakin Tani, 
How much will you go for? 2018. 2000. It is finished. Third year was March. So what? What is our economic period finished? When? Third year December 2017. So uh, on third year December 2017, how many more months we are paying more? Three months. Three months. So can you calculate how much is that? 396. 396. Bahar, what's the total? So, 1,580 How much? 1,584 This 1,584 I am paying here So this 1,584 I am paying for 12 months So 1 month how much? 1 month 132 132 On 31 December 2017 I have paid more three months. three months. So this we need to three to consider three as three payments. So you multiply this by three. three. How much you get there? Three ninety six. Three over three So now what we do? Now class balance. Then the difference what you get here 563. This uh, 396 for uh, this uh, new, new three month. For the new three month. Aywa, Sanadadid. Aukbal Tata Shum. Paham? That's good. Other in the little profit. You mentioned that that's profit. This one second question. Hmm? Second question. Hmm. Yeah. Activity number. I know. That's one activity number one. one. Okay. Second point. Is. Hmm. Okay. Now, using the bigger process, so we have done this. So we have done all this. Now, can we? So now we know. So this one. So. Should be the you bring it down and then you say this here 396 grown forward. So how much expenses as electricity? How much you will show? 521. 521. Rent. So 159. 1563. Well. Balance sheet. Repayment. Rent. Accrued expense. Practices. So no Clear? Crystal clear? Must go. Can you can you go? Hmm? What? Three seventy five for the first uh, first three months. Hmm. Then one five eight four. Hmm. One five eight four you put the total amount there. Yeah, we have to because of the payment date is within our period of the Oh, so. Then uh, this 396. Ah, 1584 divided by 12 is 3. 3, okay. Hmm? But uh, how did we enter directly there? Do we have double entry for this one? See, now we have done double entry for this. Okay? Yeah. And yes. double entry for this. Yeah. And double entry for this. So the balance in figure coming in the balance in the account like this. See, I could do in a different way. I'll show you that way, but I think that way I was doubling. So see this now. Well, I will do a very different double entry. So I have electricity. Expense account
एक्ट्रूड इलेक्ट्रिसिटी अकाउंट रेंट एक्सपेंस अकाउंट
And this one? Clear? So no matter you do it this way or this way, should be the answer should be same. I would prefer this way. It will save time. Open oh, that account, this account. Masakta. Mix. Hey. So this question done.